Another type of guide and rebel are stencils. These are sort of like a guide mixed with a layer mask. They work a lot like the masking fluid feature we looked at in an earlier lesson by confining your paint inside a predefined shape. Because there are better features such as masking, stencils have become sort of antiquated. I'll show you how they work anyway because you might appreciate the aesthetic of how they resemble their real world counterpart. One thing that sets stencils apart from masking is that you can save and reuse stencils from a dedicated panel. As you can see, there are all sorts of shapes to choose from. But I can also click in the top right of the panel and convert an image, layer, or selection into a stencil and save it into this panel to be used in multiple documents. Masking layers, on the other hand, are confined to the document in which they were created. I'll select the turtle stencil to make it active. As you can see, it appears in red. I can use a brush to paint in the negative space, and paint will only be deposited inside or outside the stencil. If I hide the stencil, you can see the paint I applied takes on the stencil shape. In order to reposition, scale, or rotate the stencil, I'll need to use the buttons in the top right. There is also a menu that has commands for inverting and flipping the stencil. The border mode can be useful if you don't want to accidentally paint outside of the stencil, and tile can repeat the stencil horizontally and vertically to create a pattern. Transforming the stencil will automatically update the pattern though you may not want to move the stencil until you're through with it, or else it may be difficult to realign it with the paint you've already applied. I can also lock the stencil so it cannot be moved, as well as lock the size ratio if I don't want to stretch it. To delete a stencil from the canvas, use the Remove option in the menu. To delete a stencil from the library, use the button in the bottom right. You can use more than one stencil at a time on the canvas. And you can even customize the color and opacity of the stencils and the color preferences. In the top right of the stencils panel, you can also group stencils together to organize them, keep stencils active when they are hidden, and remove all stencils from the canvas. You can even make the icons smaller by removing the labels.